Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I certainly am, as you can tell behind me. We have this beautiful car today on the channel. I have already had one of these. It is one of my favorite cars of all time, and I'm very glad to have another one back here today. So today, we have this beautiful red Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. You can see right there, the beautiful four leaf clover, very iconic for the brand. Uh, I'll walk you through the car real quick. So we have a Ferrari derived twin turbo V6 making about 500 horsepower to the rear wheels through the eight speed automatic transmission. Carbon fiber everywhere. Awesome interior. My man cleaned this, look at this carpet perfectly clean. He got this thing so detailed just right for me and I very much appreciate that. Although being a race car that it is with the sticky tires that it has, it's already kicking up a little bit of dirt in the back just from picking it up last night as you can see. But um, yeah, it's just gonna be your normal video today. We're gonna do some driving. We're gonna do some awesome driving. Uh, we're gonna do some ride-alongs and we're gonna take some pictures as usual guys. So uh, I'm gonna throw my chest piece on and we will get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Conditions at the beach spot are perfect. The sun is shining, paint is glowing. It's gonna be a good one. It's been a while since I've done one of these, honestly. I don't know why, I'm a little nervous. Just been busy, you know, holidays, everything going on. Had a bunch of family stuff. But, grateful to say we are back, ready to go. Let me just readjust some settings here. Get my camera all ready to go. Get a warm up shot. Let's see. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I've had one of these before. The last one was white. This one is red. Both are great colors. Both provide different editing experiences. So I'm very excited. Wait for this lady to move. Oh, beautiful. I love the morning glow here. I say that every time I come here, but it's true every time. I don't know what's going on. It looks like the recent storms washed a bunch of stuff up onto the shores. So try to make these shots as clean as possible, but it might be a little difficult because of all the debris. looks like they're doing some construction and trying to clear it over there anyways. So hopefully the next time I come here, it will be clear. But man, what a beautiful car for a four door, especially too. the styling is just awesome. There is a bit of wind today. I do think the wind mic will work though, but if it doesn't, I apologize. Oh, that's awesome. So I went to pick up the car last night. As you guys know, we, that means we get some night shots. I will throw them up in just a second after I get this one shot right here. All right, they will be up right now. And I think they turned out pretty good. Just gonna get some basic angles right here, maybe a couple detailed shots, turn the car around, get some palm trees. You guys know how I like to do this spot. I mean, it's the same every time, but that's just because it's good every time. A little close up of that four leaf clover. Nice. Let's get that Julia logo in there too. Oh yeah, one thing I do like, I don't know if the other one had this, but the carbon fiber right here and the Italian flag, such a great touch. There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna just turn the car around real quick, get some more beach shots from the back. I noticed the more I do these videos, the more efficient it gets. So these clips get shorter and shorter just because I get more and more efficient. Let you guys enjoy this glorious steering wheel view though. I love it. It's so good. Push to start on the actual wheel, just like a Ferrari. <clears throat> Alrighty, car's officially turned around. I wanted to get some shots with the ocean and the water facing that way too. That sun is hitting just right. Debating on hitting a couple new spots today that I haven't tried, but I'm also pretty busy this time. I got a lot of spots I do want to hit. A lot of footage I'm trying to get so we'll see what happens but regardless of what happens I'm gonna have a lot of fun and get some good pictures
This thing's photographed so well. It's such a good looking car. I am definitely biased because I love these things, but I don't care. It's a good looking car. Let's get a close up of this logo. The last one I had had this in black and white. I personally prefer the color. I think it just adds a little more character. Oh. Such a cool and unique logo too. A lot of car companies these days go for very basic designs to keep it simple and everyone's trying to do it super clean, but this one just has so much character. Let's see, I'm probably gonna turn the car around again. I wanna get some palm tree action. I'm waiting for this guy to uh, finish his phone call though. I'm not trying to rush anybody. So I will just cut to that. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. I will never stop using this spot. I apologize if you get tired of seeing the spot in every video, but I like it a lot. My clients like it a lot. It's a win-win. Let's get another low shot of the back with the palm trees in the background. Might do a couple of interior shots on camera as well. Just cause, why not? At least get a steering wheel shot. Steering wheel setup on this car is one of my favorites of any car manufacturer. So always down to show this one off. Probably just looking at the mirror right now. Sorry about that or the reflection in the window, but gotta get the shot, you know? I don't know if you can see it, but the flake in this paint is just gorgeous. That sun is hitting it just right. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it for this spot, at least on camera. I might do the first ride along right now. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll catch you guys in a second. You all know the drill. 91 only. So while that does that, I think you guys know what I'm going to say because I say it every time I get gas. The engine's warmed up, the trans is warmed up, the diffs are warmed up, the tires are warmed up. I'm thinking we got to do our first ride along. I don't know if we have two today, but I know we have one and that one is enough for me because I'm excited for it. So I will catch you guys when we go pick up our first victim. Peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first ride along today. This is Mia. Hi. She is going to experience the power of the Julia, and this is your first fast car, you said? It is. Okay. I'm excited. You're gonna be fine. So I'll just start off slow. I'll let you, let me put it in race mode first. And you can hear the exhaust for a little bit. And then once we get to a nice open road, we will go test. Do you want me to start off like slow or just go for it when we get just there? Just go for it. Okay. <laughs> So it has a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6. I don't know how much you know about cars. Not too much. Okay. <laughs> uh, it makes about 500 horsepower from that engine, so. Nice. For sure. Now I definitely know about Ferrari. I hit one with my car once when I was a teenager. Oh. It was so bad. Yikes. <laughs> I had to spend my life savings on fixing it. It was like the tiniest little scratch, but I guess all the pieces are so expensive. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a lot of money, but when you're like 17, 18, that's kind of a lot of money. Fair so, enough. That's yeah. scary. Yeah, now I'm careful. <laughs> I'm a lot more careful now. Understandable. Do you mind if I leave that in the video? You could leave that in the video. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the second and potentially final spot for today. We'll see what happens with scheduling and how long this video is already going to be. I'm trying to shorten one of my videos, as you guys know, if you saw the last one. I am starting a new series on my channel to make this video shorter and add some more special features to the other one. And uh, yeah, so this is the first car I'm actually going to be making that kind of video with. So I'm excited and I'm still figuring it out. So bear with me while I figure out what to film and what not to film. But conditions for this spot are perfect right now. So we are here. The owner of this car specifically requested this spot. So, you know, of course, we got to do what the clients want. So that's what we're doing. And you guys already know I'm going to go hide in the bushes and get that signature shot that I always get when I'm here. I see some fallen victims on the front. RIP bugs. Roads were perfectly open around here, so I was giving it a little bit of juice on the straightaway. Oh, this red just looks so good with like the nice greenery and the blue sky. Very nice contrast. Love it. Let's get one, just like a view shot. There we go. Yeah, that breeze is picking up quite a bit. Also still deciding which road I'm going to take for when I do the actual review of the car. I'm debating on a couple of canyons. Either way, I'm sure after all the rain, they are going to look absolutely gorgeous. I saw on the news that a bunch of uh, places now are just covered in greenery. It's all lush because of all the water that dropped on here in the past couple of weeks, which I'm excited for that. Oh, there's a bee swarm. Oh, Jesus. Eh, I'll leave that clip in because it was kind of funny, but a bee swarm totally just blew through here. Scared the crap out of me. I'm not allergic, but nobody wants to get sung and they look pretty pissed off. Anyways, back to this. <laughs> it's always an exciting time when you're with HB Car Guy, I guess. Oh, that must have been like a freaking few thousand of them, dude. That was insane. I don't know if the camera picked it any or the video picked any of it up, but. All right, classic shot right here. Probably just looking at the bush right now. I apologize. Oh, gorgeous shot. Hell yeah. So I forgot to charge the battery on my camera, my picture camera. So probably gonna cut this one short, go home, charge the camera, and then go out and take some more pictures. But I'm going to grab a couple detailed shots before we go, because the details on this car are awesome. I, my favorite piece is definitely that carbon bit right there with the Italian flag. I know I took one earlier, but get a couple more again at this spot. Oh, that one was awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is just going to about do it for today's video. If you made it this far, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I also want to give a massive, massive shout out to my man Sushil for letting me borrow your car, man. Uh, you guys don't know this, you can probably couldn't tell by the video, but he let me have the car for three whole days and he let me have a lot of fun with it. And I truly appreciate that. I was able to get some great content, some great pics, some great footage. Uh, I'll throw his link up on the screen. We are going to send it one more time for the boys, as I'm sure you guys know. So I will see you guys later. Peace out.